Okay. Welcome students of standard 9. Today we are starting with important chapter. That is log of motion. Okay. Motion. What is motion? A motion is a relative concept. Getting it? Two persons are sitting close by. What are they feeling? They are not in motion. Understanding? But we are in motion. And how much? 29.4 km in one second. Earth is moving. You know that? You are thinking we are at rest. Suppose two friends, A and B. They are sitting in a car and going. Just relaxing. Will A feel that B is in motion? No. B will also not feel that A is in motion. But there one more friend saw them from the road. Are A and B going through a car? And A and B are in motion. Really? Because C is stationary, standing on the road and watching A and B going through cars. Understanding? So motion is with respect to observer. Always. It is a relative concept. Getting? We are feeling moon is at rest. No. Moon is moving. From earth we are feeling earth is at rest. No. Earth is moving. Get it? See. This is just a concept of motion. Motion is a relative concept. Get it? Distance and displacement. What is the difference between that? Distance is the actual path travelled by object in motion. And it is a scalar quantity. Okay. Because we measure by magnitude only. Suppose A is going to B's house. First he go walks, walks 12 meter. Takes turn to left. Walks 5 meter. So how much distance he travelled? 12 meter and 5 meter. But displacement is direct distance between initial point and final point. Direct A went from here to here. By path of ourselves, we can find out the distance is 13 meter. Displacement is 13 meter. Distance travelled is 17 meter. So distance and displacement are set to different terms according to physics. Displacement is the direct distance between initial and final point. And it is a vector quantity. With direction, it involves direction. Suppose you are at home. After a circular round, you again reach your home. Distance travelled by you is the circumference of circle. But again, displacement is just zero. Because you reach the same position where you were. This direct distance between initial point and final point is zero. So displacement is zero here. Understand? The basic concept. Any doubt, you can ask right in the comment box. We'll go ahead. Okay. Okay. Understood the difference between distance and displacement. Okay. Displacement. If, it is, if both are in straight line, distance displacement are same. But when there is change in turning the direction, the displacement changes. Okay. So displacement may be less. Or equal to distance. Now I am explaining you difference between speed and velocity. Speed is the distance. The rate of change of distance. This distance travelled in unique time. It is a scalar quantity. Distance. Okay. Don't mess up with word. And velocity is the rate of change of displacement. And it is vector quantity. Understanding? So velocity related to displacement, speed related to distance. And velocity is vector quantity. You should know the point to write 
distinguish between okay the questions comes and distinguish between speed velocity distance displacement we should be able to express such points okay many times some comes like average speed what happens you go to some city close by first with high speed then low speed then you have to halt what are then again travel with different speed your speed is not uniform you put brakes sometimes you accelerate on free road okay so how to find so first speed was 40 then 60 then 20 then again 80 so how to find out the average speed total distance traveled getting total distance traveled how much upon total time taken ready this in, in this suppose total distance traveled is 150 km and time taken is 5 hours so average speed is 150 upon 5 30 km per hour understanding units i am explaining you after understanding once you understand the basic concept terms i will explain in the units standard units si units cgs units okay so speed can be changed by going slow or fast but how velocity can be changed important question by changing speed by changing direction or by changing both speed and direction as it is a vector quantity it depends on both magnitude as well as direction speed doesn't depend on direction getting the only magnitude but velocity depends on magnitude as well as direction magnitude of velocity is speed and direction understood the concept any doubt ask me okay don't hesitate write in the comment box i will explain in the next lecture we'll go ahead okay now i'm explaining you the concept of uniform speed and non uniform speed what is uniform speed if a body covers equal distance in equal interval of time understand it equal distance in equal same speed non uniform speed if a body covers unequal distance in equal interval of time unequal distance fast slow fast slow fast slow and the uniform speed is steady speed understand it uniform speed and non uniform speed okay i am explaining you suppose two examples ram and rahim are running meter 40 meter track hai 1 meter 2 meter everything is written both in the after 5 second 10 second 15 second 20 second meter ram recorded after 5 second 10 meter 10 second 20 meter 15 second 30 meter 20 second 40 meter okay and rahim First five seconds seven meter, then fifteen meter. He was at the end of ten second, at the end of fifteen second, thirty two meter, and forty meter. So who ran with uniform speed and who with non uniform speed? Ram travelled with uniform speed. Understand? Ten meter in five second, twenty meter in ten second. 30 meter in 15 second, 40 meter in 20 second. So at 2 meter per second was Ram's uniform speed. Get it? But about Rahim, first he was slow. In first 5 second covered 7 meter. Next at 10 second he was at 15 meter. Then 15 second he ran very fast, 32 meter. 20 second 40 meter. Get it? so fast slow slow fast slow fast slow this will but ram traveled steady speed uniform speed rain was non uniform speed understood the difference between uniform speed and non uniform speed any doubt ask me we'll go ahead okay. see the next concept i'm explaining is acceleration okay You know, while traveling in a car, you put accelerator. 
to the speed of car increases or while driving bike accelerator okay why you put on accelerator to increase speed so acceleration is actually rate of change of velocity the rate at which velocity changes time rate change so acceleration is change in velocity upon time it is final velocity minus initial velocity upon time now we have given international symbols final velocity that is at the end velocity at the end you are measuring some time interval that is symbol is u v and initial velocity symbol is u so change in velocity is v minus u final velocity minus initial velocity and a rate a rate means upon time the fast understand the velocity change in how much how much time that is pick up of your vehicle okay understood the concept acceleration okay what is uniform acceleration the velocity changes at uniform rate getting in equal interval of time velocity changes by equal amount understanding uniformly this is called uniform acceleration speed is increasing non uniform acceleration the velocity changes with unequal amount different fast slow fast slow at equal time interval it same time interval velocity changing decrease in fast slow fast slow understanding actually we travel with non uniform acceleration only uniform acceleration is possible only on plain ground when someone comes up while traveling you have to put brakes understanding also three types of acceleration positive acceleration if velocity increases that is positive acceleration negative acceleration if velocity decreases getting yeah after traveling you have to stop no so you slow down your speed getting you take away your uh, clutch from accelerator you remove your legs hand whatever and zero acceleration is stationary or uniform speed this car is at stationary speed is not changing acceleration is zero or uniform speed is speed is not changing suppose whatever 20 km per hour but steady moving at 20 km per hour that is uniform speed uniform speed means acceleration zero acceleration arises if you change the speed if the final velocity minus initial velocity zero then at uniform speed is zero acceleration getting it we we'll go ahead with next concept okay, okay. graphical Gra graphs i am explaining you if you plot a graph time and distance suppose distance are written 100 meter 200 meter getting a time you record okay and you plot at this distance this time this distance this time if you plot a graph distance against time for uniform motion you will find the graph is a straight line understand but if for non uniform motion the graph will be zigzag and not a straight line so for all uniform motion you think if it is uniform word graph will always be a straight line so uniform velocity velocity time graph is a straight line velocity not changing only practically this is not possible because you have to put brakes if something interrupts okay straight line uniform velocity uniform acceleration speed increasing at constant rate velocity time graph is a straight line getting okay. now distance upon time is speed but here for straight line rectilinear motion distance and displacement are same because no change getting okay. see here velocity time if you find a area under the 
you can easily find uh, find out the area at this point the, within this time how much distance covered is the area under the graph this much graph is the distance covered you can find, put the velocity different different 20 40 60 at uniform rate and what is 60 this much and this much time like if the speed of uh, vehicle is 60 km per hour in 2 hours it will travel 120 km correct so this is the area length into breadth area of rectangle here also at you can find out within this time interval you can find out the area total area this area this area will give you the distance traveled understanding while do, doing numericals you must understand this now kinematical equation based on this only this concept this was just only general concept understanding we are going to that concept so there are derivations to prove three kinematical equation okay and which i am going to prove in the next lecture okay so this was introduction to this chapter the basic terms once you understand we can go ahead understand so you revise you see the watch the video again and again understanding and for more details more practice more numerical practice more theory you give like share my videos and subscribe to my channel also for personal coaching if you want you finding this is very difficult you need very personal coaching you contact me my phone number is provided email is provided you can whatsapp me for personal coaching okay online okay see you in the next video bye